Hey, Maria, back with another video. So um, I'm just kicking back, waiting for the guy to get here to work on my stuff. I don't even know if he has to really come in. You can probably just do it from outside, but whatever the case is, um, um, I'm expecting here to come so I can have a cool bedroom to take naps in because, you know, it gets very hot in my room, especially because a lot of the sunlight comes in in the afternoon. It's like beaming through my my window. But anyway, today I wanted to make this video defining the enemy of the state. There's a lot of people who um, I believe are on certain lists um, that um, prevent them from getting employment. And I think sometimes people take it as far as um, reporting this to like, you know, government agencies and getting them involved when really there's a, there's a definition or a guideline that would actually put people in that category. So a lot of people who are getting, who I suspect are getting reported um, as enemies of the state really don't belong on that list, okay? And um, in the future, I would like to go back and make this a little bit more um, professional looking. But for now, this is gonna be word of mouth and then you can do your research if you like. But um, I, I plan on doing some videos that uh, relate to laws and penal codes and all that other crazy stuff. Um, so that there, there could be a clear definition so that some people can actually get help by this. Now one thing that would um, put for people in this category would be espionage, okay? Espionage is basically when you are taking the, the definition, okay? I know we pretty much know what espionage is, but I want to give you the definition like based on the dictionary, okay? It's the practice of spying or using spies typically by governments to obtain political and military information. Now, um, I was thinking about the Rosenbergs. Um, they were um, executed for espionage, okay? And now, I'm not sure if they were actually guilty of it or not. Um, there has been controversy about um, whether or not they were actually innocent or not. I'm not sure, okay? I wasn't in on it. I, I wasn't able to see what they were doing. I have no idea, and I wasn't a part of the investigation. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even born at that time, okay? But espionage would be, example of espionage would be like, for example, um, um, I'm working alongside a, a, an agency that's working alongside the, the, the military, okay? So we're exchanging information, we're working on top secret type stuff, and then I'm going out and telling the other people, meaning our enemies or our, um, the people who are not our allies, information and providing information. So I'm acting, acting as a spy for, um, for the other government. Okay, that would be considered espionage, and those people would probably be considered, would, would be considered, and rightfully so, be considered enemies of the state. Another one would be for treason, uh, which is basically kind of the same as, as espionage. It's the crime of betraying one's country, especially by attempting to kill the sovereign or overthrow the government. Now, just because somebody, and, and it's, there's a lot of ignorance, okay, if a person doesn't go to church, or they're all by themselves or whatever. I think a lot of these people are getting reported to these agencies, I'm suspecting, of um, you know, thinking that you're trying to overthrow the government because you don't belong to a certain religious organization. As I mentioned before, we have the freedom of religion, okay, in this country, okay? So you can worship a tree, you can worship a rock, you can basically do whatever you want to in this country. The country was established based on those principles, okay? So that is not a justification for somebody to be on some sort of list of being blacklisted or being reported as an enemy of the state. So, um, yeah, I'd like to, um, to do more, you know, as far as explaining that. But I think that pretty much gives you a clear, a better idea as to what is considered, you know, um, somebody who's like basically un-American. Now, you know, because I, I, I kind of was influenced with by Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't get involved with political things very much. And that's funny because so many people think that I belong in politics. But, um, you know, maybe on a certain level, because like I said, I think I'm a great social reformer. But um, I, I don't, I've never voted. Never voted. I've never... Um, you know, even really express any of my opinions. You know, I will say that, you know, I, I do like Trump. I do like him. Um, I think he's a very suave individual. But, you know, I've never really actively played a role in politics, okay? Um, because I, I personally want, really, I don't, I kind of detach myself from world events, okay? Um, but that, that doesn't mean that I'm, and, and people who are Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, 
um, are not enemies of the state, okay? As a matter of fact, you know, just because we're a part of this world, we don't really want to be necessarily a part of it. We don't want to play a, a predominant role in decision making or whatever. But I know that people are capable of making mistakes. We're all, we're men, okay? We're we're a part of mankind, so we're not, you know, we're able to make mistakes. So we're not, you know, um, the, the the judgments that sometimes men make are not necessarily always right. So. I just never really participated in politics, you know, based on, you know, my my upbringing on um, and my leanings towards that faith and that idea. But that's not to say that, you know, um, there there aren't some good leaders. I'm just saying is is that, you know, I at this moment I haven't really had any need to. But who knows? Maybe in the future I will. But yeah, I think that um, there's a lot of people who who. Are, are are ignorant and they're not really knowing exactly how to define somebody who who um, um, who is against the country you know I'm not against the United States of America I'm very grateful to live in the United States of America I am I'm very grateful for that um, I, I wouldn't say that um, I, I don't believe that I have blind patriotism just because you know um, I don't how can I say this I guess my view of being an American citizen is different than other people's view of being an American citizen. I understand that we have rights here and we have um, advantages, okay? Unfortunately, I think the, the majority of people who live here in the United States, based on you know what I've just experienced, okay, really don't seem like Americans at all. They kind of act in a way that seems like they should be living in a different country. You know, based on the, the things that they hold against other people. It's like you wonder, do they really appreciate being American or not? But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'll be back with another one later. Have a great day.